Hey there guys, so today we have another review and this is Founders All Day IPA. This is a, a beer that I've actually reviewed before. I'll post you a link to it. And this is a 4.7% Session IPA. Session IPA has really exploded. Basically, if you don't know what a Session IPA is, is basically it's under 5% and the goal is to sort of make an IPA slash hoppy experience without the alcohol. So it's a quote unquote sessionable beer, one that you can have a decent amount of. Uh, this bottle is actually bottled 917, so I believe it's around 11 days fresh. So very surprising. I actually didn't know founders can get beer to New York that quickly, so that's really awesome and the reason why I'm reviewing it. The other interesting thing about this beer is that previously, uh, founders' number one beer, their biggest seller was Centennial IPA, which is their uh, flagship IPA. And then they were also just known for their more uh, their bigger beers, the Founders Imperial, their Breakfast Stout, uh, their KBS, their... Uh, Backwoods Bastard, all these like big, big beers. Now this beer, listen to this, is over 50% of Founders production. That is insane. Basically, they put out a good amount of brands, but over 50% of the, the beers they uh, beer they produce now is Founders All Day. So it sort of sh shows you how the market of beer has sort of evolved and how Founders portfolio has really changed and they're expanding their brewery and it's probably very much thank, uh, thank to the, uh, thanks to this beer. So let's dig into this one. So the beer comes in a nice light amber color quite very clear. Let's get the room on this. Floral, a little grassiness, a little bit of like resin quality, piney. It doesn't explode out of the glass, but it's a light kind of refreshing piney note. A little bit of biscuity malt behind that. By the way, I believe this beer is hopped with Simcoe and Amarillo. Cheers. Mm. Quite nice. First thing you notice is that this beer has a wonderful kind of carbonation behind it. Really moves the beer along. Because I will say the beer has a light mouthfeel. It is a watery beer. But the carbonation really makes it like kind of a refreshing kind of experience. Mm -hmm. In general, not too much hops going on. It's not too intense. It's just a light kind of grassiness up front, a little bit of pine, a slight kind of herbaceous note on the finish. It bitters out pretty aggressively for a session IP at 4.7. Slight resinous notes, piney, a little bit of herbaceous kind of green quality going on. Quite nice. Malt is very hidden on this one. You get a little bit of biscuity malt, but it's very um, light. It just shows, it pops its head up a little bit, and then really it's the hops that are being delivered in this beer. Mm -hmm. A little bit of that like biscuity malt to really give the beer actually a beer kind of flavor. But in general, it's like a watered down IPA. And I guess that's the goal of the beer because it's a very slammable beer. The malt is really like pulled back on this one. It is almost watery. But then you also get that kind of bitterness on the back end. So you get almost an IPA experience with that kind of hoppiness, bittering, um, very light and like refreshing. Um, again, this is not a hugely flavorful beer, but you know, it does its job. It, it's a beer that you just want to keep drinking because of that watery mouthfeel and that kind of bitterness on the back end. Mm -hmm. I will say I prefer something like um, the new beer, Oscar Brews Pinner, which has a little bit more tropical note, a little bit more mouthfeel going on, but this is quite good. Uh, awesome to get this fresh, so that's why I'm reviewing for you guys. Um, as for rating, I want to give this, <clears throat> sorry, 89, very strong. Great session IPA. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Later.